teamed up with the Saucy Fish Co to bring you the ultimate garden party. So, as part of this series, we will be making a delicious pasta salad, two gorgeous salads, a game that all of the generations can get involved in, and a delicious alcoholic if you want to see those recipes, make sure you click this link up here to see the full playlist. But today, we are making a delicious crushed pea and mint salad with asparagus spears. They're absolutely beautiful, so fresh, so in season, and that is going to pair perfectly with the Saucy Fish Co's brand new frozen range, in which we're going to use a delicious smoked haddock with a complimentary vintage cheddar and chive sauce. How good does that sound? Should we get cooking? All right then, let's go. So we're going to start off by cooking our delicious fish, grab it out of the freezer. And what's great is that it comes with its own little oven bag, so it means that your fish is going to stay beautifully moist. And that's going to go into our oven at 160 degrees for 24 minutes. That's from freezer to fork in under 30 minutes, leaving you loads of time to mingle with your guests at your great summer party. So now we're going to crack on with our warm pea and asparagus salad. So let's kick things off by getting those veggies cooked. So I've got here 250 grams of potted garden peas, which can go into a pan of hot water. And you just want to cook those for about five minutes. So next up, we've got 200 grams of asparagus. So this is perfectly in season, great for your garden party. Get those green, fresh vibes going. Just want to lop off those woody stalks at the end. You don't need to take too much off because as I say, they're nicely in season now. So they're going to go into our water as well. These need to cook for about five to eight minutes. The best way to tell is when they're gorgeously vibrant and green, and if you take a fork and just push it through, it should have a little bit of resistance, because you don't want to go all the way. You don't want a soggy asparagus spear. No, 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 my friends. Our asparagus is on, our peas are on. I'm just going to give them a check and make sure that we are cooked. Perfect. They take so little time. This is brilliant. This is all about quick and easy meals, people. I don't know why I'm slapping and getting so excited. Once your peas have drained off, we're going to pop those into a food processor, or you can just use a potato masher for this as well, just to get the same kind of crushed pea effect. Meanwhile, as I say, do keep keeping an eye on your asparagus, because what you don't want to happen is for it to go all overcooked and soggy. We are now to our pea mix, going to add in two tablespoons of fresh mint. Whenever you use mint, always give it a spank. Just burst open those oils, release those fragrances, and scatter that into your peas as well. That was a bit elaborate, wasn't it? <laughs> Next up, we're gonna add in the juice and zest of one lemon. So let's start off with the zest, and that's gonna go straight in there. Remember to try not to go too far down, because you don't want the white rind, as that's the bit that's really bitter. And we're going to also add in the juice of that lemon too. So do be careful for any pips. Oh, lovely. Okay, so we're going to season up with some salt and pepper. So we've got a nice generous pinch of salt in there. A nice black pepper. So then we're going to pop the lid on and we're going to blitz this up into just a lovely rough textured crushed pea, essentially. Oh, it hits ya. And what I'm going to do, just to make sure that all of those lovely flavours are well amalgamated between, uh, between themselves, just to make sure that all those lovely ingredients are really well combined, we're going to add in a little drizzle of olive oil. Meanwhile, our asparagus is cooked to perfection, so we're going to plunge it into a bath of ice cold water. Now, why are we doing this? Because we're actually serving this asparagus chilled, but also it keeps its gorgeous, vibrant colour if you do so. It stops that cooking process, stops it going all bland and stringy and just keeps that gorgeous vibrancy. So that is our crushed pea all ready to go, our asparagus looking beautiful and we're going to just finish that off once it's nice and cool with a sprinkling of salt and pepper and then we're ready to serve with our beautiful saucy fish but it's called saucy fish for a reason. To heat up your sauce you want to place your sachet in a pan of simmering water for four minutes. Once your fish is ready, bring it out of the oven and make sure you're very careful when you're opening it up because it's going to be gorgeously steaming hot. We've got here enough for two people. That's one slice per person. 
Next up, you want to toss your asparagus spears with a little bit of olive oil and a pinch of salt and pepper and plate up with your delicious crushed pea and mint. Oh, it's looking good. Bring your sauce out of the pan, being very careful with it as it is likely to be very hot and pour over your delicious fish fillet. And there you have it, a perfect portion. Now it's time for me to make up a big old batch and the party can begin. Oh.